So today, we're gonna be using one of my uh, clanmates challenge deck in the Majestic Challenge. His recommendation was the Robot Striker, Armadillo, and the Shaman. The Striker can work very well with the Robot's bombs. And of course, the Shaman-Armadillo combo is pretty strong if I can enchant everyone and then placing bombs on my opponents. Let's see how well can we do with this deck. My name is 2Mike and hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alright, shout out to my clanmate down here. He recommended me this deck like three days ago, so I do apologize for the very uh, long delay. But here we are trying out your deck and uh, Sally, Sally, you know, I cannot show you the video that he sent me because it was three days ago, so the video is no longer available. But we, this is the deck that he recommended me and we're going to be using it and let's see how well can we do with it. Right now we start off by enchanting both of his units, his... Actually, you know, his arm, uh, since his um, Thunder Paws is enchanted, we can always just push the the Armadillo towards the Thunder Paws and hopefully the Wraith here, and both of them will get... Ah, oh, we missed the Thunder Paws, he, but the Thunder Paws will still get hit with the Bomb. I just cannot believe I missed actually making contact with the Thunder Paws there. He'll get three hits on the Thunder Paws right there, I believe. No, he hit the Pillar. Nice, 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 nice. All right, so let's see what can we do. Can I do too much sandy other than I guess we'll double hit the Catamancer here. Burning the Catamancer too, we'll take it. We'll take the burn right there. That was up like 190 damage to the Catamancer right there. His Thunder Paws does go next. He can always, you know, hit the Wraith plus the the Blacksmith. He might also hit the Catamancer for that triple, triple charge. He did not get a triple charge, thankfully. Um, honestly, we should probably just try to take out his... Thunder Paws, since Thunder Paws is very dangerous. We'll remove his enchantment. We'll get another hit, plus the bomb right there. Honestly, pretty good damage. I'm just hoping that he doesn't take out any of my units with his Catamancer, since the Catamancer does go next. And of course, his Catamancer does a lot of damage. Um, I think my units will stay alive. Yeah, they're still alive. Just, they're barely hanging on, dude. They are barely hanging on. I mean, the best you can do is just enchant or take out the Catamancer right now. Or not the Catamancer, the, um, the Thunder Paws right there. But my units are getting pretty weak. My units are getting pretty weak. I don't think we're going to be able to win this one. Our best bet is to try to enchant and then deal lots of damage with the Armadillo if possible. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. I do not know about this one. Uh, we can always, you know, try to enchant the... We did not even enchant the... Actually, we did enchant the Blacksmith. That was actually lucky. Um, but let's see what is he going to do with, with his, uh, Wraith. Going to take on my Shaman. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to take on my Shaman. And that, that's fine. Um, at least his Wraith is enchanted, which gives me, you know, my Armadillo a little bit of a leeway to try to win, you know. We can always do this, take out, uh, Canamancer, and let's see if we can place a bomb right there. Yeah, we do place a bomb here. And now let's see if we can... Oh, we didn't even take out the... We didn't take out the cat. I could have sworn we would, we would have taken out the cat. I'm just hoping that he doesn't hit the armadillo towards the cat. Because right there we're going to lose. I think he will. No, he... Oh, but the burn got me. Oh, that's dangerous. Like, we would need a miracle double hit here. And then hit the blacksmith thumb somehow. And we will win. No, we don't. We just lost, ladies and gentlemen. We just lost. Yeah, we just lost. It was a bad start, but... And honestly, we, we we definitely had that match. We definitely had that match. I just... I couldn't figure out what to do in order to win that match. The Thunder Paws, honestly, was his, was his MVP. Placing, you know, charges everywhere. Just, you know, demolished me, you know? But I couldn't do anything about it. But with that being said, let's just continue on. Alright, so let's forget that first match ever happened. We can always try to make a comeback here. His deck is a little strong, not gonna lie, even though, you know, the Wraith, Thunder Paws, and the Scarecrow uh, got, you know, big nerfs. Um, it can still work out for him pretty well. Uh, we might be able to... No, let's just enchant the Scarecrow here. And now uh, we could um, hit the Paladin, hopefully closer to the bomb. We don't want to, to push the bomb away. There you go. That was good. That was good. We also enchanted the Paladin. I did not expect that. But we enchanted the Paladin. He will heal up the Thunder Paws. 
And this is where now we can try to take advantage that his units are enchanted. But honestly, I don't know what to do here. Can we just hit the Scarecrow? Oh! oh okay, never mind. We made contact. I thought we missed the Scarecrow. But thankfully, we made contact with the Scarecrow. Plus, we did damage to his Paladin. But now he's going to heal up once again. Alright, so the bomb is near the Scarecrow. So we'll just leave the bomb alone. Let's let's see if we can enchant that Thunder Paws up there. Plus, push it towards the Striker. Yes, we were. His Thunder Paws is dead. Let's freaking go. And his Paladin. So no more heals. That was awesome. I definitely needed that. He might take out my Shaman right now. And even the Striker. No, Striker is alive. But holy guacamole, 13 health left. But this is where we should be able to take out a striker right now because of his ability. It just adds up every single hit. So let's do that. There we freaking go. He's still alive though. Wraith is still alive. But we did like 430 damage to the Wraith. That was incredible right there. So just one hit to take out the Wraith. And uh, all we gotta do now is... Let's do this, and if we can push it towards the robot or towards close to the bomb. We need, we don't even need the bomb nor the robot anymore. We were able to double hit with the armadillo right there to take out the scarecrow. And of course the wraith was there to be taken out as well. And we just got our win. One win, one loss. It is not terrible. Okay start. What can you do, right? But let's see if we can make something or, you know, even go farther with this deck. Let's continue on. Alright, so at least we got one match or one win. So let's do this. Ugh, Rocketeer. Not a big fan of the Rocketeer, especially with his Wraith going first. He can definitely get at least three touches here, maybe? Or two because of the angle? Two touches with the Rocketeer. Well, let's see what he does here with his Wraith first. Yeah, he's going for the buff. He might get two Rockets. Three, maybe, if he does this perfectly. Okay, thankfully he only got two. All right. So, of course, that sucks that he buffed up the Rocketeer three times. Um, I mean, the, I think the best we can do is just enchant here. So, I guess we'll just enchant. We actually enchanted the Treant and the Paladin there. I was only focusing on the Treant, but that worked out well. Was able to enchant the Paladin as well, but this is now where things are going to be pretty dangerous because now the Rocketeer has four Rockets. Great. Um... We could try to enchant his, you know, his Rocketeer. Might as well, since, um... That way the Armadillo can do his stuff, unless he just takes out the uh, both of them down there. Both of them will survive. Okay. Yeah, both of them does survive here, so we might just have to push the Armadillo towards the Paladin and the Treant. And just hope that he go. I can go crazy with the bombs. The Treant did not get hit with by the Armadillo, but at least we... Did do bomb damage to the Rocketeer and the and the Wraith. He is going to buff up his Rocketeer once again. At least his Rocketeer is not. I did not remove his enchantment. So and the Armadillo does go next. I'm so confused about what he wants to do. Okay, so he's going to heal up the Treant. Okay. Um, thankfully he misses uh my Armadillo. We might be able to push the Rocketeer closer to the Wraith, so that way we can deal that bonus damage. Missed the Treant. No freaking way I missed the Treant with uh with the Armadillo. I can't believe I missed that. Alright, so we will lose the Striker, it seems like. He might take out the Shaman, maybe? Probably not. I think the Shaman will survive this. Uh, yes. The Shaman didn't even get hit. That's good. Um, So, let's take out his Rocketeer. Or, actually, the Rocketeer will take damage there. So let, let, let's not even, you know, take out the Rocketeer. Let's just do this, enchant his Paladin. Oh, never mind, we actually did damage to his Rocketeer there. We'll take it. Alright, so his Rocketeer is dead, and this is fine for me. Um, He might heal up the Treant. That's fine. He heals up the Treant. Um, let's enchant his Wraith, since the Wraith does go next. So let's do that real quick. Quick. Let's see if we can push the armadillo somehow towards nobody. That's fine. All right, so at least all three of them are enchanted. I thought the wraith went next. I don't know what happened to me there. The wraith does not go next. The treant does. So he will... He should go after my armadillo. The armadillo can do lots of damage. He probably will take out the armadillo. The armadillo has how much health? 28. And the armadillo does survive with 6 health. Okay. 
So this is where things can go pretty awesome for me. Let's just do this, hit both of them. And hopefully, no, the Trian does not get hit right there, but we do take out the Paladin. And the Wraith did take a lot of damage right there. Sadly, we did remove his nerf. So now he's going to be dealing normal damage to us. Now the Armadillo is going to die. The robot is still alive. Um, we, we need to try to take out his Wraith first if possible. But I don't know if we have the, the, the right angle for this right now. Um, so I guess we'll just do this. Yeah, we don't have we, we didn't have a good angle there because of the bomb, but that's fine. Um, the shaman can survive one hit, but not two, unless he gets pushed towards the goop, which of course we don't want that. All right, so the robot, the robot is placing bombs, and that's fine with me. That is fine with me. This should be able to double hit the tree and plus enchant that wraith right there. There we go. There we go. And now he might just take out the shaman, but honestly, that's fine with me because the shaman already did his job. And all we got to do now is just try to survive with the robot. And we should be able to get the win right here. Yeah, he's trying to use the... He's kind of... No, he misses the robot right there. That's fine with me. And of course, he moves the goop a little bit upwards as well. The Wraith, we can't take him out in one hit. So all we got to do now is just do this. Push the Treant towards the goop. We might, be... we might push him out of the way. But at least we're going to hit the Wraith as well. Yeah, we pushed the Treant out of the way. That's fine. All right. So um, this should be our win. This should be our win. He's only doing 28 damage. The robot has 214. So he needs like 10 hits to take me out. He does hit twice there plus the goop damage. Very well played. He does play that very well. Let's see if we can push him towards the bombs. And that way that should be our win right here. There you go. All right. So another good one for us. Can't complain about that. Um, even though we lost the first match, we are doing pretty good right now. We got two wins and one loss. I I, I do love the deck. It's, it's practically two uh, two combos in one deck. Although I did not use <laughs> the striker robot combo very well to its potential. But hey, we're still going far. And uh, with that being said, let's continue on. Yo, Kidok. Let's see where we're gonna face. Ooh, okay. It's pretty much a, a direct damage deck. Pretty much, you know. Uh, so this is going to hurt a smidge, but look at the play right now. We can, al we can always just push the Thunderpaws towards the Armadillo here. And we should be able to enchant somebody else. Let's see. There we go. We missed the Armadillo. That sucks. That sucks. But at least we did some damage, plus enchanted his Scarecrow. As long as he doesn't do you know crazy stuff with his Scarecrow and the Thunderpaws here will be okay-ish. Um, Enchant the Farmer here. We might be able to push the Armadillo towards the Scarecrow as well. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. All right, so lots of damage to the Scarecrow there. The Thunderpots took a lot of damage as well, so I'm very happy with that. He's going to just do just hit directly the Striker. That's fine with me. That That's fine with me. I'll take that. I'll take that any day. Uh, we'll try to enchant the golem here. If we can double hit the thunderpaws too, that would be nice. Yes, we were actually able to double hit the thunderpaws. Thunderpaws is dead. All right, so one less unit to worry about. A very strong unit at that too. Scarecrow cannot use this ability now, which gets me an upper edge right now. Although the armadillo did take a lot of damage right there. Um, we're gonna have to just you know use the armadillo's ability right here. Just to get some damage going on. Hopefully that's in re Oh, there we there we go. We actually used the striker's ability paired up with the armadillo. I did not really I totally forgot that the armadillo paired up with the striker can also work, uh, work well. I can see why strats recommended me this deck. Um, it works very well. All right, so he's going to double hit the robot, triple hit the robot. All right, so he just placed bombs everywhere. And sadly, you know, we just lost the armadillo and that is fine. Um, let's enchant, let's enchant the golem here. We should be able to push the robot towards the scarecrow. There we go. L little bit of damage with the, um, the snowball there as well. Sadly, we, the bombs didn't even do a single damage to anyone, which sucks. But, um, hey, his scarecrow is almost dead. All we gotta do now is we should be able to double hit his, yeah, we should be able to double hit his, uh, farmer here. There we go. Lots of damage right there. Farmer took 
Wow, he took she took like over 200 damage and she died. Golem is alive with 12 health. The Scarecrow is alive with 34. This should be our win. Yeah, this should be our win. All we gotta do is just hit... Honestly, just hit the Scarecrow. And the bomb will take out the Golem right here. So, bada bing, bada boom. Even the Snowball took out the Golem right there. And there you go. We got another win right there. Three wins, one loss. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're making the plays. Very happy with uh, how well we're doing, even though we lost the first match. But hey, we got three wins and one loss, a quarter of a way to get into the max reward. Hopefully we can get there using this deck. Let's see how well can we continue on. Yoki doke So let's see who we're going to face, or at least what heroes are going to face. Uh, heal deck with Enchantress and Huntress? That's a very, very weird deck here. Uh, we can't do much, sadly. We could always start an Enchanted Priest since the Priest does go first. Um, by doing this, let's see if we can also hit the uh, the Enchantress, but we might not be able to. Oh, wow, never mind. We actually got um, Priest and the Frog Mystic. And of course, you know, the Armadillo against the Huntress, he is perfect because the Huntress enchants every single turn. And he has, you know, something to enchant himself. So this is honestly even better. Uh, we should try to go after his um, Hunter, uh, sorry, his Enchantress. So that way... Um, he doesn't try to enchant his units. The Enchantress is almost dead. He took, wow, the Enchantress took like 315 damage if I'm doing the math correctly. So right now we're doing good. We're doing good. His healers, of course, is going to give me problems. Of course, him trying to just enchant his units is going to be a problem for me. But um, I think the bomb will be in reach of the Enchantress here. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we took out the Huntress. Oh my goodness gracious, I didn't even plan on doing that. We didn't even do it with the Armadillo. We just used the Striker's ability. That was insane. All right, so the Armadillo does go next. Look at this. We can actually you know, use the Shaman to remove the enchantments or use the Armadillo for, uh, with, this, uh, with his ability, which is crazy. This is going to be a lot of damage to the Priest at least. I don't know, I don't know if we're going to be able to get the Frog Mystic. No, we don't, but look at that. We just took out both of them, and the Frog Mystic took two bomb hits. That's 114 damage to the Frog Mystic, and now it's just one against four. And all we gotta do now is just either remove his enchantment or lower his damage. And we can definitely actually do both. Let's push the Frog Mystic towards the Armadillo. Hopefully, we don't mistakenly double hit. Ah, uh, oh, there you go. We got it. We got it. We got it. That was a lot of damage right there. That was good. That was, if I'm doing the math correctly, like 260 damage. So he has how much health? 131. Okay. He's going... Okay, so the robot got two hits. That's fine. That is honestly fine with me. How much health does he have? 131. Um, let's see if we can double hit him and hopefully push him towards the, uh, towards the, the bomb. We didn't, we didn't even need to worry about that. We just got another win. An easy win, in fact, too. That was... We got, you know... We got a uh, an epic win right there. That was inc that was very good. That was incredibly well for us. We're doing awesome, guys. I'm actually very happy with what we're doing right now. And uh, let's see how well or how far can we continue on with four wins and one loss. Yoki doke. Let's see. Let's see. We are facing. Oh wow, a very I wouldn't say old meta deck, but you know, Jossum and Champion used to be strong. The Gargoyle is strong. The Gargoyle is strong. I'll give him that. Let's nerf the Jossum and the Cultist right there. We also got the Champion. Let's freaking go. We got three units enchanted. Um, let's see what he does with, here with his Cultist. Hopefully he doesn't just take out the Shaman immediately. I don't think he will. No, he's not. And uh, all right, that's fine with me. That's honestly fine with me. That I'm not too worried about what just happened there. Um, since his, you know, Gargoyle is not enchanted yet, let's just push it towards the robot so that way he'll take a lot of damage. And look at that, the champion took damage as well. Alright, this is going, right now we're doing awesome here. I'm just hoping that doesn't, doesn't do crazy there. Okay, the Armadillo thankfully did not, you know, get hit with the Cultist's ability. The robot did, which is not good. Let's, you know, let's place bombs on both of these guys. On the Jossum as well. Everybody got hit with the bomb, even, even the gargoyle, because he was actually near the cultist where the robot, or not the robot, the armadillo placed the bomb. Let's freaking go. But now look at the heals that he's going to get right here. 
96 heals. That's absurd. 96 heals. Um, I guess we'll do this. Oh my goodness gracious, what was that? He, I would have surrendered too. I did not expect the freaking striker to do that. That was an incredible play on my behalf. We got five wins. Let's freaking go, guys. We're doing incredibly awesome right now. Let's continue on. Come on. Can we go even farther? I'm just hoping, guys. I'm just hoping. Ooh, Archon. Not, not a big fan right now. Not a big fan of the heroes that we're facing right now. Um, champion Thunderpaws doesn't work too well in my opinion because, you know, the champion just pushes everybody away, which means the charges also gets pushed, so that's why I don't believe they work well together. Uh, regardless, let's see if we can enchant the champion and hopefully the Thunderpaws here. Oh, we also got the Gargoyle, that was actually good. We got three units enchanted, champion goes next now, so this is going to suck, but, um, hopefully it's nothing too serious. That's going to hurt. Yeah, that kind of hurts, sadly. But we're still in the game. We are still in the game, guys. Uh, we cannot do much other than just hit both of these guys. The Thunderpaws will be taken out. Let's freaking dope. But it wasn't near enough for the Archon to take the bomb damage. I'm a little bit shocked about that. But that's fine. At least we took out the Thunderpaws. Uh, the Gargoyle will get some heals there. That's fine. Let's see if we can double hit the Gargoyle here. And then hopefully the bomb will get... No, not quite, but at least both of them will take the bomb damage there. We'll take it. Uh, but we might lose the armadillo now. And the striker. We lost both of them. Okay. So that sucks. That sucks. We cannot do much now. We're going to have to rely on the robot's tankiness. And I don't think that's going to be enough to win. So, all right. So let's see. The robot has how much health? 172. There's no way. There's no way we're going to survive this. Especially with that double hit right there, plus, you know, his ability. No freaking way we're going to win this one. Because the robot now has 78. So, yeah, there's no way we're going to win this one. This is going to be a second loss, but... Wow, that was bad, too. I was trying to push the Gargoyle for a double hit or push him towards the fire, and we didn't either. That's fine. It's all good. Um, that's going to be our second loss, but we can still go far. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself, and we just lose twice in a row. I would like to get to seven to, or, or eight wins if possible, as long as I don't face, you know, Archon, Gargoyle, Thunderpaws in one deck, we might be able to get there. But let's see if we can actually get there. Let's continue on. All right, let's see who we're going to face. Hopefully it's not, you know, very strong team. Okay, I can handle this. Uh, we can actually push the Shaman upwards to our enchanting. Let's do this. We got the champion. I would have loved to enchant the blaze as well, but that's fine. He's going to, yep, hit the striker and the armadillo. He'll probably hit the striker. No, the armadillo. Oh, no, the striker twice. Understood. Okay. So, um, sadly, we cannot do the armadillo play. So, we'll just enchant, hopefully. This should, this should enchant. We also enchanted the wizard. Okay, that's good. Plus, I didn't realize we placed the bomb on the, on the blaze. I have no idea how that happened, but we got it down. We still did damage to the blaze and the champion with the bomb, so that was pretty good. Champion does go next. Thankfully, his attack is nerfed. Let's see what he does here. Going to push the shaman towards the mice band, it seems like. He does get it off. And uh, then the ability is going to go off. Thankfully, nothing too crazy has happened right there. Let's... Let's actually do this. Just multi-hit the wizard and then push him towards the armadillo. We should be able to make contact with the mice band as well. And then the bomb will deal lots of damage to the armor, uh, to the mice vendor right there. That was good. Just one hit from the striker, and then the bomb just dealing damage right there for a 120 damage for one bomb blast. That was really good. Uh, the striker is dead. That sucks. Striker is dead. Um, I would like to enchant, but I think the armadillo is blocking me. So that's not good. We could try to get the blaze, but that's going to be a little bit risky. But let's see. Okay, we got the mice bandit. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take that nerf. I'm just hoping that that, that that will not cost us the game. The robot should tank right here. Yeah. Okay. That ah, okay, of course he does that. Let's can we enchant that blaze? Yes, we do enchant the blaze, and the champion is still alive. No freaking way. Champion is alive with 33. Alright. 
All our units are getting weak. I need the armadillo to stay alive though, so that way... Oh no! Oh gosh! Please stay alive, armadillo. Yes! Oh my goodness, the armadillo is alive with three health! Three health! Let's do this. Hopefully we can take out the champion. Oh! Oh wait, the bomb is actually near the blaze. Let's go! Oh my goodness gracious. Ah, oh, but all he needs to do is... Wait, the robot can tank two hits. Let's see. If he gets three hits, he might win. One. Thank... Okay, we won. We won this. Holy guacamole, we won this. That was absurd. I think if he would have gotten three hits there, he would have taken me out. And we just won this one. The, you know, the champion had how much health left? We'll just see right now. 33. Let's freaking go. A very close match right there. You know, the robot survived with 60 health. A very, very close match right there. But we pull off a win right there. And now we got six wins. I'm very happy with the run. I've been happy with the run. Six wins halfway there through the challenge. Don't think we're going to make it to 12 wins. But we're just going to see how far can we go with this deck. Let's continue. Yo, Kidoke. Let's see how well can we do here. Not liking the deck that we're facing right now. But let's see if we can make things work. His Thunder Pause goes first. Um, He might double hit the Scarecrow. Or just double hit the Cannonmaster. I don't know. But thankfully, you know, with his Thunder Pause going first, his charges will be reduced by 10, I believe. Right? Yeah, by 10. But still, lots of damage. Especially to the Armadillo, since he also made contact with the Scarecrow there. Let's see if we can double hit the Thunder Pause here, then hit the Scarecrow. Yeah, we were. A little bit of damage on, you know, both of them. Frog Mystic does go next. He might, of course, just play around the Thunder Pause. Or the Scarecrow, honestly. Um, I don't think he wants to do... You know, direct damage. Yeah, he's going to play around the Scarecrow. The Striker did take a decent amount of damage right there. That hurts. That hurts. Um, let's... Oh, I cannot... I don't have a direct hit. So we're going to do this and hopefully we can nerf the Scarecrow plus the Thunder Pulse right there. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Alright, my robot goes next. Striker. You know, he's getting pretty weak. He just died because of the charges. I just saw that a little bit too late, but that's fine. Um... We should be able to enchant the Frog Mystic. Hopefully we don't miss. Let's see. We got it. We got it off. Alright, so now the Cannon Master goes next. And the Robot is in a pretty bad position. He'll get the double hit plus the Scarecrow hits. I don't think we're going to win this one, guys. Don't think so. Plus the Thunder Paws charge. At least we place a little bit of bombs right there. The bomb blocked the... Ro Whoa, whoa, no! Why you do that? Why you do that, my dude? Yeah, we're not going to win this one, guys. They now realize that, you know, the cat was going to go through the Thunder Paws yet again. Uh, almost hitting the Thunder Paws. That would have taken out his cat. And, of course, placed a, another bomb on the Scarecrow. That would have been a lot of damage. But, no way we're going to win this one now. Especially with the Armadillo dead. And the Shaman only having... How much... 56, yeah, there's no way. I mean, imagine getting a miracle hit here somehow. There's just no way, though. Yeah, we just missed. All right, so sadly, that is going to be lost, and that's going to be the end of the run. But hey, we did get six wins. Very happy with the run regardless. We're going to get a decent amount of rewards. Okay, so the charge and the goop will take me out. Okay. All right, I, I got a little bit worried there. I thought we were going to survive one more turn, but that's fine. You know, six wins, it's not terrible, it's not a meta deck, but still, it's a very fun deck overall. Six wins, let's claim the rewards, let's see which heroes are going to get. Hopefully we get heroes that, of course, are not max, so that way we can try to get them as close as possible to max. Of course, we can't. We don't get Yetis, we don't get Treants. Champions, that's good. And Wizard is already at max stack. So, okay, so, it's an, it, it was a good reward thingy, you know? Um, but yeah, it was a very fun run overall. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Very fun run. Uh, use this deck. Let me know how far you guys go. Six wins for me. And uh, honestly, I, I like it. It's a fun deck. You know, Shaman of the Armadillo combo. Striker can't, <laughs> works very well with Robot and Armadillo. I do see Rice Strats recommending me this uh, this deck. Works super well. If you guys have any recommendations that you want to see, um, just let me know down in the comments below. And let us know what do for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.